How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to the first review from the team of the tournament for Copper America. It is second in form Arturo Vidal. If you do want any cheap MSP, PSN or game codes, head over to G2A.com. Use that code M89 for a little bit of a discount. Everything that you will need is in that description below as is the link to Snick Prack who lent me this card. It is massively, massively appreciated. Now on the Xbox he is cheap, 80 to 150 on the PlayStation 11 little bit more 300 to 450 he was actually very clinical scoring eight goals in six games three star skills four star weak foots high to high work rates look at his base card stats all above 80 one being on 90 and that is his physical 88 dribbling as well as 90 physical that is crazy good as are his in-game stats 96 aggression 93 interceptions 87 position and 84 acceleration 84 balance 87 jump and 91 reactions and 80 one strength given that he's got 99 stamina to go with his high high work rates so he can go all game long skill attributes ball control 91 86 dribbling 86 finishing 86 long shots and shot power of 84 slide tackle and stand tackle they were both fine as well honestly this guy has a lot he really really does specialities and traits engine tactician and long shot taker and that is the one I kind of focused on his long shots they were on point. Such good long shots on Arturo Vidal. He really, really does have a good long shot on him, does the chilly man. So in terms of pros, we do have long shots, like I've already mentioned. Tackling, he's a very combative midfielder. He's a midfielder that gets stuck in. He's not a playmaker, hence why he had zero assists. Yes, I could have got assists if I did want to, but I don't want him to be a playmaker. I want him to be this kind of ruthless midfielder that takes no prisoners, that gets in the box late, that gets back in defence. He was playing from calm, and he played in there very, very well, and he was one of the best midfielders I've used on this game because he can literally do everything Dribbling wise, sensational. Honestly, there is nothing wrong with this guy's dribbling. Yes, he's got three star skills, but with those three star skills, you can utilize that to full effect using effective skill moves. Ball control, it's in his the vicinity of his body all the time. It doesn't get too far away from him, like strides on, uh, take for instance, Aubameyang. It doesn't get too far away from him, so it's always close to his body. He's always got control, and with his great strength, he can hold off a lot of players. Just look at this, for example. I just power straight through the center if any of those players come anywhere near me they're getting pushed off the ball within a flash of an eye a flash of an eye I've never said that before but uh, <laughs> yeah they will get pushed off the ball within a blink of an eye that's the one I was looking for positioning fantastic honestly it's great he gets up and down the field all of the bloody time he gets forward he attacks he arrives late in the area he gets back he defends he kind of protects that midfield he does everything does Arturo Vidal absolutely everything he's got great shot power and he's got power like Perlo. Honestly, he has the lot. So if you are looking for a midfielder, go out and buy this guy because he is one of the best midfielders on the game. But he's going to get a rating of a 9.7 simply because sometimes his position was a little off. That is the only kind of con I could think of with this guy. But it was a pro in general was his position and a value for coins of a 9.8. Guys, if you have enjoyed this review, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I will catch you all next time.